ranking member of the Energy and Power Subcommittee. Uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, for this uh, important uh, markup today on H.R. 702, a bill to adapt to cha changing crude oil market conditions. Mr. Chairman, as I have stated publicly in the two hearings uh, and the subcommittee markup preceding today's committee, committee action, I am openly entertaining the idea of supporting this bill. Uh, Mr. Chairman, however, since making those statements, uh, my office, which has met with a great number of stakeholders representing both sides of the debate, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I can't do so at this point in time. I have heard arguments of merit both for and against lifting this bill. Mr. Chairman, I continue to keep an open mind on this issue, and I will continue to work with my friend and my colleague, Mr. Martin, to see if we can find an appropriate, dedicated, strategic proposal that would warrant my support for this bill. Of all the issues, and there are many, that have been brought to my attention regarding this bill, the single most important one to me, the one that matters to me, high and above all the other issues, is how would lifting this ban impact communities such as the one that I represent in this nation? Mr. Chairman, jobs is the central reason for this season in my estimation, in my opinion. Jobs now, jobs today, and good paying jobs tomorrow. Specifically, Mr. Chairman, I met last week uh, and I had an opportunity uh, to again talk with various individuals across uh, this, uh, the whole issue area of this bill. And Mr. Chairman, uh, I've said before and I say it again, I would like to see an opportunity for women, veterans, and minority-owned businesses to directly benefit from vendor and contracting opportunities that would result from lifting this ban. Uh, an architecture of abundance should also be an architecture of shared abundance. And Mr. Chairman, I'm looking for my district and districts like mine, their share, their fair share of whatever abundance this bill would bring, this action would bring. And Mr. Chairman, I've had some good talks with these stakeholders who have signaled their support for a program that would accomplish uh, this goal of shared uh, abundance. My vote in support of this bill hinges on those specifics that have yet to be ironed out. So, Mr. Chairman, I look forward to meeting with industry executives over the weeks ahead to discuss specific proposals that will address this sing single and central concern of mine. I would like to hear from the decision makers in these uh, entities, these organizations, regarding their commitment, their commitment to make diversity uh, hiring and diversification, diversification and contracting a priority both within their corporations and for the companies they work for. And until I have this assurance, I will withhold my support for lifting this ban. But again, I look forward to working with my uh, friend and my occasional partner, Mr. Barton, to get to a point where my concerns are not only placated, but uh, that we have some substantial programs in place for those who have suffered uh, decades-long chronic unemployment in districts like mine and in my own district. With that, I yield back the balance of my time.